Let's go. I'm better than ever, they never been better than I. Regarded the hardest, and I ain't even reaching my prime. They hate that I'm great, and they fake, and I'm real as they come. So sit back and let me show you how this shit is done. My composition, my propositions, I'm raping the system. I'm killing the competition, and all of y'all are my victims. Eyes and ooze as I'm ripping the instrumental, lyrical, individual, never been sentimental. I'm so hot every time I beat drop, and when I say I'm raping the system. So it's very rare where I start a video off like that, showing you guys the results of the fight before I show you the actual fight. Now this guy rage quit. It's not to expose a rage quit. What I really want this fight to be about is jabbing the like button. Please like the video. That's YouTube law. I had to get that out there. But what I really want this fight to be about is really diving into depth about why two skills are so important for not only fight night also it's important in life and a lot of people lack it for starters a lot of people do not like a boring technical fight now there are those who like myself who really appreciate the sport of boxing the art of boxing the technical aspect of the sport and really understands that the pro fight game is about what you are doing and not so much how much of it you are doing now activity and stuff has its place but that is more amateur boxing pro boxing is about the amount of damage that you are able to do and that's why knockdowns are scored so highly and it's also part of the reason why fighters like for example floyd mayweather are so eye-catching because when they choose to do their damage it's eye-catching when a fighter like canelo alvarez yes he has that knock that knockout power but it's also the type of punches he lands in and how exciting that is for the casual fan to see. It's those moments of when the damage is dealt and how cleanly it's landed. Now, a fight night champion, for some reason, we have an amateur mindset where we are content with trying to land as many punches as possible. But there's not you there's usually not a lot of intent put behind those punches and there's not a lot of purpose behind them either that's why players tend to throw so many punches that are ineffective or they do weak counters and i mentioned this in a video that was more entertaining more on the entertainment base but now we're going to talk about it in a more serious room where it's trying to land a jab straight for example to the body after you took a power straight to the head is a completely ineffective combo because the damage does not add up and that's Part of the reason why a lot of players tend to lose fights is because they not only are they not focused on the fight, they're not really focused on what they're doing. They're just focused on trying to land as much as possible. And that low level thinking causes them to lose fights. Now, human beings in general, right? They typically tend to lack two things until either they get really knowledgeable about something or they get older and have more experience and um whatever it is that they're doing or just sometimes generally in life and that is patience and being content now the more you value for example the damage that you do do and when you understand when you're winning around the more content you will be with throwing less punches and you will be content or you'll be happy with the fact that you landed a straight right hand and you're more likely to back up and start trying to reposition or force your opponent to miss punches and lower his accuracy because then you know or if you hit really hard you know that one shot can be the difference between you winning around and losing around so you'll be content landing a single straight right hand or a left hook or a right uppercut or a counter strike to the head or to the body because those are effective punches and this is why you guys hear me mention on the channel why counting what is landing on you and what you are landing on your opponent and why i have the two categories of effective punching and scoring shots scoring shots are body shots and the jab whether the jab is to the head or to the body is considered a scoring shot and what it does is it causes you to land a single point or it makes your opponent react or it causes your opponent's stamina to go those are what the purpose of scoring shots are. 
is to sometimes bait the opponent in or to cause him to have a reaction. Now, an effective shot is something like right there, that counter sidestep right hook that landed to the head. It does a bunch of damage. It's eye catching to the judges. It's also going to let you know that you're winning around or it indicates to your opponent, I have to do more to equalize what just happened to me. if you're paying attention and you're not just concerned about doing the damage. Now, this round is going to be more purposeful, but with more activity. And you're going to even see when I choose to start switching from single shots to more uh, more combinations. And you'll notice why it is that I'm standing there planting my feet and throwing in combinations. But the other thing to continue on with the topic is patience and why patience is so important. And you'll see that next round and we'll get to that when it happens. But patience, you you would tend to be more patient the more content you are with what it is that you're doing and the more you understand. And that's why I said game knowledge. And also, if you like play chess, you understand that the internal dialogue and your focus that you're having during a match is key to you being able to do your best or make good decisions or make the right choices now video games are just a mirror of that of how much you're thinking at least on a competitive level where you can do those things at high speed and you'll be able to make those decisions a lot faster the more game knowledge that you have the more experience that you have and the more mechanical your skills are the more technical your skills are you can tend to throw these combinations and stuff out faster but you'll be more patient when you understand what you're winning or when you understand when enough damage is going to cause a knockdown, when enough damage is dealt in order for you to win the round, when enough damage is dealt in order to force your opponent to come forward. When you understand that the game has always been favored to outside play and trying to get the, the opponent to come forward and walk into stuff, make him miss, hit and not get hit is what boxing is. and fighting a champion is no different. Now, as you can see there, why did I sit there and trade and start planting my feet? And why did I have that intent to start throwing that combination and just unleash the punches? He was trying to get in my chest and just throw recklessly. But because I also understand the amount of damage I dealt and that I won the round, I then easily started letting off the gas and went back to throwing single shots. I secured the round and I made sure that I won the round. And that's why I'm up 30 to 27 and why I won round number three. Now I'm going to show you that you can do the same thing with a patient style in round number four here. And it came from something as simple as me landing one jab. Now I'm playing the footsie game with my opponent and I am being patient and I am content with the amount of damage that I did land. Now, when I see an opportunity to land an effective shot, because I always say you need one effective shot, one headshot, that's a hook uppercut straight counter or uh, anything like that to the head and then you need two scoring shots whether that's a jab to the head or scoring shots or body shots so there once again if you're paying attention and you're counting and you know i won the round already by the punches i did land now he just landed on me i did not instantly re react because that scoring shot he did is still not equal to my left hook now, when he landed two of them, I decided to get it back in blood with two effective shots up top. Now, if I choose to not throw any punch and play purely defensive for the, mean, for the remainder of this round, I win it because what he threw did not equalize. Now, there's an uppercut that landed for him. Thus, I fired back with a straight right hand. And then I'm trying to get into position now in order to get the point back. Now, there's the jab that he landed to the body, and I able to equalize that advantage that i already had by landing an uppercut to the head so now you're seeing the purpose behind why i'm throwing every shot and why i'm being patient and why i'm fighting at a slower pace now now look at what the opponent is doing have moving he's acting erotic or erratic because of what it that what it is that he's seen in the fight thus far it's different from the brawl that he was expecting from round number three he was expecting a bunch of activity and he's not getting it and this is why i say psychology is so important because now you're you're really paying attention to what it is that's going on in the fight you can see when an opponent is getting frustrated so just by the gameplay that we've seen this is why this guy in a rage quitting and dashboard in the game it was as simple as the frustration was building from the patience so this is why patience is important this is why being content is important having that poison composure will take your game to the next level if this was useful, if the information was helpful, please jab.
the like button leave your thoughts in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't it's your boy fight night's finest and i'm off this man peace